Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 4.1. We're going to talk about molarity, dilutions, titrations, stoic, and that's it. So let's boogie oogie oogie with that. Let's see if I can find my calculator because I know it's going to be important. Concentration. Molarity is the most common form of concentration that we're going to use. The definition of molarity, or the formula for molarity, and it's shown as big M, is moles of solute over liters of solution. Solute is the little part, and solution is both parts. So if you can think of a solution as having two parts, the water, which doesn't have to be water, but it typically is, is called the solvent. And the stuff you dissolve in it, just pretend it's salt, is the solute. That's the most common by far. Find the molarity of 20 grams of zinc nitrate and 300 milliliters. First of all, zinc nitrate is soluble because it has a nitrate in it. So notice, we're not given moles. Darn it. And we're not given liters. Darn it. So, and that's normal. So what we're going to do is going to convert those things into what we want. 20 grams of zinc nitrate, ZnNO3, taken twice, times dividing bar. Uh oh, I need a periodic table. Times dividing bar, grams of zinc nitrate. One mole of zinc nitrate. And let's see if I can't find myself a periodic table in about 30 seconds or so. There we go. And then that gets you into moles. Oops, that's all I need. So then the zinc from the periodic table is 65.38 plus 28.02 for two nitrogens plus quantity 6 times 16 for the oxygens. And that would give me 189.4. So 20 divided by that answer is 0 0.106 moles. And then if molarity equals moles over liters, I hope you can do the conversion of 300 milliliters equals 0.3 liters. If not, just move the decimal three spots more good. You don't need to show work for that. Um, 0.106 moles over 0.3 liters. And answer divided by 0.3, and I get 0.352 molar. That's it. If you can change slides, I'll be... Okay, what is the word of zinc ion? So zinc ions, because it's zinc nitrate, um, notice for zinc and zinc nitrate, zinc nitrate, there's one zinc and zinc nitrate. So what is the molarity of zinc ions? It is the same. Same, why? Because one zinc and zinc nitrate. Okay, so it's the same, so 0.352. Of the nitrate ions, because there are two nitrates and zinc nitrate, then it's 0.352 times two equals 0.704 molar of nitrate ions. Oops. A solution contains 0.4 grams of NaOH in 20 milliliters of solution. What is its molarity? So same deal. Um, 0 0.400 grams of NaOH times dividing bar grams of NaOH. One mole NaOH. Little g stands for grams. Little g stands for go to the periodic table. 22.99 plus 1.01 .01 plus 16 is 40. Oh, and then I feel foolish. So 0.4 divided by 40 is 0.01. So 0.01 moles. That's in 20 milliliters. So remember, molarity equals moles over liters. So molarity is going to be 0.01 moles divided by 0.02 liters. So 0.5 molar, which I hope is a choice. It is. Cat. Dink. What mass of magnesium chloride is required to prepare 2 liters of 0 0.550 molar solution? Oh, so I can ask it differently. Okay, so remember, molarity is moles over liters. So my molarity is 0 0.550, and I want mass, right? Not moles, but mass equals moles over 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to get moles. So 0 0.55 times 2, I shouldn't look that up, but I did. It's 1.1. Moles equals 1.1 moles of MgCl2. And I want to change that into mass, so one mole of MgCl2 go to grams of MgCl2. So measuring things in moles just isn't 
it doesn't work very well. 24.3 is magnesium, plus 35.45, plus 35.45, we get 95.2. So our balances are geared to measure, measure grams, not moles. So 95.2 times 1.1 is 105 grams to three sig figs. Uh -oh, I'm going to cough. I don't have a cough button. <coughs> Sorry. Molality dropped from the AP exam. Woohoo! See if I can hit it so fast it's gone. Eh, eh, eh. Titrations. You can find the molarity of a reaction by reacting with an unknown. This is usually done with the acids and bases, but it can be done with anything. Redox titrations are also common, and the titration ends with a color change. This is called a burette. Burette. Okay. And what happens is you add a drop, 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 change the color. So the formula is XM1V1 equals XM2V2. And the X, if we're talking about acids and bases, it's the number of H's and the number of OH's. But if it's not, if it's a redox thing, it's the others um, coefficient, which is crazy. And I'll show you this because I hope it's popping up right now. S and bases are really, yeah, there you go. So, and notice how I put that X in there so you know it's for each of them. What is the molarity of an unknown sulfuric acid solution? Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. If 25 milliliters of acid are neutralized by 14.11 um, milliliters of 2.02 .02 molar NaOH. Notice there's just one of those, so the X here is 1. Okay, X here equals 2. So I like to always do my acid first, so I'm going to call it 2. What is the molarity of the unknown sulfuric acid? That's going to be my M. Um, 25 milliliters. Notice this is molarity. This is volume. Same thing over there. Equals 1 because I have 1 OH. If I had aluminum hydroxide, X would be 3. But here I, I don't, so I have 1. And my molarity is 2.02. .02. And my volume is 14.11. Now, you don't have to change this into liters because you'd be dividing both sides by the same number. So notice if this was 25, I wanted to convert it into liters, I'd divide it by 1,000. And this, I would divide by 1,000. And notice how that would cancel. So it's not necessary to show that works because you're kind of sort of doing it already. 2.02 .02 times 14.11 divided by 2 divided by 25 is 0 0.570 molar NaOH. Dink. Stoic with concentration. Molarity gets us moles, which gets us doing stoic. Yay. If 10 milliliters of 6 molar NaOH reacts completely with 30 milliliters of HCl, what is the molarity of the acid? So it's the same type of deal here. So if this is actually just a titration thing, what I'm going to do is write out this reaction. Well, this is a titration. We're just going to do this as XMV equals XMV. My acid... Um, is 1H, right? Molarity is what I'm looking for. Volume is 30. Oh, no, pen, don't do this to me. Okay. Equals OH. X is 1. I have 1 OH. Molarity is 6. Volume is 10. And then calculator is a symbol. 6 times 10 divided by 30. I shouldn't even done that. Molarity equals 2. And there's 2. Ooh, this says dilutions. Dilutions. Also use M1V1 equals M2V2. I wonder why this is looking so silly. Who is number 34 on your multiple choice? If you need 250 milliliters of 0.255 molar NA positive solution, how would you prepare it from 6 molar NA2S? So notice you've got big stuff. I'm going to add water. Duh, add water. Okay. Um, but we need to figure out how much. And the way you do that is M1V1 equals M2V2. So my original molarity is 6. I'm going to figure out what volume of that I need. The new molarity I want is 2.55 and the volume that I want is 250. So because this is more concentrated, this V has to be smaller. 2.55 times 250 divided by 6. So I need 106.25 milliliters of concentrated. So how do I prepare it? Um, take 106 milliliters of 6 molar 
Na2S and add, notice I don't say add, what do I want, 250, and add 144 milliliters. I add enough, except for I can't spell enough, add enough distilled water to get 250. And the reason why is because um, if you add 144, if you add 144, that will not equal 250 because they actually mesh and they fill in the empty space. Review. I don't know why it doesn't say that, but it does. Review. Molarity equals moles over liters. I always go through moles for stoic, and we're going to do a lot more of that. XMV equals XMV. MV equals MV for dilutions. And we're done. Toodles. Oh, I didn't get to play my Brad Paisley song anymore. See ya.